Hello everyone, coming to another example of um, machine learning in healthcare for which I am considering a database for emotion recognition uh, system uh, while playing some game. Now it is very much applicable for today's scenario where uh, people prefer gaming over any other enjoyment or any other recreation. So actually the literature says that some of the games um, have positive impact on our mind. Some lightweight games where some happiness is found. Those actually impact good in our mind. But some uh, violent type games or horror games sometimes impact bad on our mind. So to find the emotion uh, generated from playing game we have done this um, game uh, we have done this experiment with the game emo data set already available in the kaggle where there are 28 different subjects wearing variable portable eeg device called 14 channel emotive epoch plus and uh, four different computer games all of them have played and the genres of those uh, games are boring, calm, horror and funny respectively and they played the games for 5 minutes and totally 20 minutes long EEG data are available for each subject as the 5 minutes recording for each of the games were uh, available so totally 20 minutes um, data are available and here if we come to the um, data set we can see that There are S01, S02, S03, S04, S05 <coughs> like this up to S25. So, coming uh, starting from 1 to 25, so 25 subjects data are there. And if I go to the depth, for uh, suppose I am clicking on the S01. So there are three different subfolders inside it. One is the pre-processed EEG data, one is the raw EEG data, and another one is the SAM rating. So as already discussed by uh, Sriporna ma'am, um, the various steps of EEG data processing, uh, we already know that uh, pre-processing has to be done uh, on raw EEG data to um, figure out the noise, to remove the noise. It can be artifact. It can be uh, generated from the machine itself, it can be the uh, physiological artifact, it can be the noise in the room, it can be the noise due to eye blink. Different types of artifacts gen uh, get generated from the uh, EG data and those have to be removed at first to um, have a proper uh, result after classification or regression whatever the tasks are performed so there are actually um, already available pre-processed data and another one is the raw EEG data now suppose I have uh, downloaded the data for all of the subjects and after that the raw EEG data has been considered so like the previous example here also I have done it in the Google Colab where the NumPy and for, as we will be processing the signal data so we have to um, import the signal package in our code and J by 1 is the is used for the J by shape filter and prick Z is the frequency um, component so and I will be uh, plotting some figures or graphs like that so PLT has also been imported and pandas has been imported now i have to install at first eeg filters to uh, so to use some filter methods in my code so pip install eeg filters as it was not um, installed previously so i have to install that and then i have to mount my google drive and i have stored the s01 g1 all channels dot csv uh, data set in my google drive so actually s01 stands for the subject one g1 is the game as the all all of the subjects have played all of the games that means four of the games have been played by all of the subjects so it is actually showing the um, 
uh, data of um, subject one and game one and from all the channels that means as the eeg they have um, taken is um, capable of storing 14 channels data so 14 channels are shown over there as the column uh, if i want if i uh, open the csv file then you will be seeing that af3 af4 f3 f4 f7 f8 fc5 fc6 o1 o2 p7 p8 t7 t8 these are the 14 attributes and um, those can be uh, initialized with call value uh, which stands for actually column and here uh, the panda data frame has been used um, and those have been the values actually have been stored in the x variable and there i if i want to show the five first five rows values then zero one two three uh, like this it comes and uh, you can see that there are some numeric values of the signals those are in the micro world format actually so from the af3 channel this type of data are coming in different data frames that means in different time frames a4 data looks like this f3 looks like this for the first five time frames so like this um, a large file is over there actually and i just showed the five first five values my first five values from the first five frames actually so these are the um, channel names from which the data has been stored and after that if i want to just um, plot the uh, eeg signal then i can do that using this and i have chosen a4 um, channel only for that the code is shown over there and the output looks like this next is the um, butterworth filter or by shape filter whatever i want to uh, run for this uh, for the artifact removal of this um, data so j by one is the <coughs> function name three four are the first two values low high and then band pass the band type has to be uh, mentioned over there also high cut low cut values and low cut and high these two variables have been defined also by this Nyquist is the Nyquist um, Nyquist term comes from the Nyquist theorem of uh, signal frequency that is this sampling rate into 0.5 now after filtering uh, if I want to show the um, a4 uh, channels output then I can use I can apply this type of code using line plot function of SNS package and I can see some differences over there that means um, previously the raw signal looked like look different and here after filtering the signal is looking <coughs> something different and now I want to uh, extract some features from it so for that I have used uh, convolutional neural network uh, I have just uh, deleted the last layer that is the softmax layers from the traditional model of CNN to just extract the features and I'll be applying SVM after that that means after the feature extraction from the last layer of the convolutional neural network uh, except the softmax layers already discussed so after the feature extraction the uh, classification takes place just using SVM that is the simplest uh, classifier we can say now uh, from Keras we have to import different um, functions for different packages for the uh, la different layers like dense layer dropout layer flatten layer and conf 1d that is used for the 1d that is one dimensional convolutional layer 2d is the two dimensional convolutional layer then max pooling 1d that is for the one dimensional max pooling layer that max pooling 2d that is for the two dimensional max pooling layer and now the normalization is um, batch normalization here so batch normalization also has to be imported and then leaky ReLU is the activation function over there advanced activation uh, from the advanced act activation module we have to import that now um, the data set already has been uh, read over there using this data set and uh, using this line it has been converted into data frames now i have to just pass this x equal to uh, i have to just um, drop the outcome 
column from the entire data set so that the other um, so that the other attributes gets con get considered as the x and for the y value that is the dependent value on x values so that y will be actually the data set and uh, the outcome column of data set so here if uh, from the data set drop is called so whatever will be passed through the drop function that will be dropped that means that will be removed from the particular data set and um, after removing that particular attribute the other attributes will be considered as s and the particular outcome uh, attribute is considered as y as it is the dependent variable now hfev is the high arousal positive balance actually this outcome is considered as hfev for the first thing so the it is the class level actually so y equal to this one and then uh, like the previous heart attack prediction code here also we have to split the entire data set into training and testing portion and here also we have used the test size equal to 0.25 so 25 percent of the data has been considered as testing data and 75 percent data of the uh, entire 75 percent of the entire data set is considered as the training now if i want to uh, reshape the sizes so x train as this x train is containing now the uh, independent uh, values of the training so extend dot values dot reshape will be the two two eight six eight nine fourteen and one so that is the uh, number of rows and that is the number of columns here the number of uh, rows is the testing uh, 9560 for the testing part as it is 25 uh, percent and this one is 75 percent and then 14 attributes as it is for the testing part now if I just print the x train one dot shape then I can see this is the shape and x test one shape this is the shape. Now I have chosen the epoch number as 20 that means the total number of epochs will be 20 in my case and number of classes in this case up to just it is the HAPB uh, class as I have considered only the one game data set so the number of classes is one. And then the model has been changed. Um, model has been defined in this um, cell. Here it is the sequential model, and then the first layer, then the second layer, then the third layer. The first one was the one-dimensional convolution layer. The second layer was the one-dimensional max pooling. Then the dropout. Then the one-dimensional conv uh, convolutional. Then liquid LU. Then max pooling 1D. Then dropout layer. Then convolutional 1D then liquid LU, then max pooling 1D, then dropout, then flatten, then for the activation, the LU, and then activation was softmax. Now, if I just um, print the summary, then we can see that this is the model I have built. Now, model has to be compiled using some optimizer. Here in this case, the Adam has been used as the optimizer. The binary cross entropy has been used as the loss function. and model dot fit like the previous case here also the fit function has been used and i have um, i have named my model as model so model dot fit and then the attributes like the previous example so after this line the training happens 1 by 20 to 20 by 20 as i have chosen the number of epochs as 20 here so 1 by 20 to 20 by 20 the epochs all the epochs have been shown over here and then if i just um, want to face the weights of the layers then i can just use model dot get weights so i can have the weights and these weights are actually used as the features of that uh, s01 g1 all channels dot csv file that means it is coming from the subject one and game one the features similarly the subject one game two that means s1 g2 then s1 g3 then s1 g4 then s2 g1 then s2 g2 then s2 g3 then s2 g4 like this all of the uh, files have to be processed like uh, following the same manner 
and all of the features have to be put in a single file uh, it can be in the csv format it can be in the mat format whatever you prefer then you have to um, classify that using any classifier which you feel good for this particular data set you can run that and you can have the output you can compare the output with the existing methods uh, for this data set and uh, for this type of um, similar works already available in the literature and if you if your model is uh, performing better then it is publishable so that's it if you have any confusion you can ask me